We've seen them before. Fake guns, sometimes even painted to look real. They are novelty items that are no joke for law enforcement. Only on 7, KETV News Watch 7's Dave Roberts with the Sarpy County case giving new meaning to the term firearm. Yeah, a pistol packing person out of gas needed to worry more about getting shot more than being stranded. While his pistol only shot a flame, Sarpy County deputies couldn't tell because to them, it looked like the real thing. Logged and bagged, the evidence looks real enough. It caught the eye of one driver Monday who dialed 911 when he saw this pistol in a man's hand near 200th and Highway 370. A passerby uh, saw someone walking down Highway 370 carrying a gas can and a handgun. When deputies arrived, they found John Rademacher stalled on the side of the road. He refused to cooperate whatsoever, um, was very belligerent, uh, said that he had weapons in his car, at one point asked if we wanted to see his AR-15. Here's the AR-15s, smaller than the real deal. The only thing this one shoots is a butane flame. Yep, these are just lighters. Plenty of stores sell them, and anyone can legally buy one. But would you know the difference between a fake gun and a lighter if someone pointed one at you? Well, we're about to find out. Can you tell me which one's real and which one's fake? Which one's real, which one's fake? Which one's real and which one's a lighter? It's not very easy, is it? No. No. This one. That's not the fake one. I'd say this one's the real one. That's actually the fake one. Really? You understand why the policeman could have trouble making the decision on a split second? I'm probably not going to second guess it either. I'm probably going to take off running. It's scary. If the photos fake these people out, imagine what police think. If we're uh, approached with something that resembles a handgun, we're not going to wait for you to shoot before we decide to defend ourselves or someone else. Deputies didn't shoot Rademacher, but he did get tased and a trip to jail. Keep that in mind before taking out a gun lighter in public. Display them nonchalantly and maybe even to have a little bravado to, to display them the way some people do. It's just, just very, very dumb. Again, there's nothing illegal about gun lighters, and Rademacher's not locked up for the lighters. He's charged with obstructing an officer, resisting arrest, drug possession, and drug paraphernalia. Back to you. Dave, thanks.